Uh, my name is Ryan McDonnell, and I work for the Canadian Coast Guard. I'm a shift supervisor for Marine Communication and Traffic Services. The Coast Guard ensures the safety of the public by providing a listening ear for any mariners that are out on the water. Uh, they can always call in on channel 16 or any of their working channels and let us know that they need assistance and we'll collect all of their information and um, pass that on to the Joint Rescue Coordination Centre in Victoria and coordinate some search and rescue for them and get some help going. And then we also regulate marine traffic for larger vessels. Um, we just monitor their um, progress in our waters and which way they're heading and pass that information on to vessels that are going to meet along their way. Roger, northbound is the cruise ship Norwegian Pearl, estimating white rocks at 1710. Um, after high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I just worked a lot of different jobs, kind of feeling it out and seeing what I'd best be suited for and what I really wanted to do. And somehow that led me um, moving to Prince Rupert from inland. And once I moved here, I knew I wanted to learn lots about the ocean so I could go out and play on it. So kind of safety first thing, so I took a lot of courses. And from there, I started volunteering with the Coast Guard Auxiliary. Um, and received more training through them, and that's actually how I found out about this job, was through the Coast Guard Auxiliary. So a typical day at work, uh, I come into the station, sit down at my position. It could be uh, either vessel traffic or at Coast Guard Radio, or if I'm the supervisor of the day, I might just be standing back and working on a different kind of project. Um, usually just get acquainted with what's going on at the room, what was happening with the last watch, if there was any incidents going on or any uh, ongoing things that we need to be concerned about. And basically, if there's nothing going on, it's just pretty relaxing to talk with the shift mates and answer calls as they arise. The type of calls that we get kind of depends because our job is split into two. So for vessel traffic, that side of it, we mostly get calls when vessels arrive at calling in points or when they're first checking into our system at the international boundary. Uh, so those are the kind of calls we receive on this side. And then for Coast Guard Radio, the kind of calls we get can vary from anything from people requesting the weather, um, people reporting, reporting um, a boy or an aide out of position, to people in distress and requesting help. Mayday, station calling Mayday. This is Prince Rupert Coast Guard Radio. Go ahead. Roger, what is your position? Roger, how many people are on board? One of the biggest things that the center has ever worked was when the Queen of the North went down, they would talk to the station. So that was pretty intense and <laughs> we were definitely involved with that. My position with Coast Guard is really rewarding when you know that you're helping somebody out and providing a good service. Uh, you know that mariners count on you when they're on the water, um, whether it be for providing them with weather information so they can make decisions about their trips that they're going on or knowing that they count on you to be there. Um, even if they never talk to you, but they know that you're always there and listening and ready to, to give a hand if they need some help. Well, there's so many different jobs within the Coast Guard, but for this one, Marine Communication and Traffic Services, um, certain requirements, like you have to be able to, they look for certain personalities. Basically, you have to meet all the basic criteria, and then they will send you off to do training at the Coast Guard College in Cape Grip, Breton, Nova Scotia and you do six months of specific training there with the Coast Guard. I did um, do some training through the Northwest Community College that wasn't um, a prerequisite for me getting this job, but I think it probably really helped. Um, and that was all funded by the Coast Guard Auxiliary and I got that for free with my involvement with them. Um, things like small vessel operator certificate, uh, marine first aid, um, coastal navigation, and things like that. The motor yacht Meduse, Prince Rupert traffic. Roger, there is no reported traffic. Be advised there is a SANE net opening in Seaforth Channel this afternoon until 2200. For youth wanting to get involved with the Coast Guard, um, there's lots of opportunities actually. Um, 
This job would definitely be um, something that they could apply for, Marine Communication and Traffic Services. There's also inshore rescue boat programs, um, the cadet program at the Coast Guard College um, to work with the fleet and work on the ships. Well, the great thing about this job is the schedule. Like, we work four days on and then we get five days off. And with our four days on, we work two days and then we work two nights, 12 hour shifts, and then we get five days off. So during those five days, there's lots to do. I like to bike, run, lots of hiking, kayaking, go camping, um, just hang out with friends, go fishing, check out some really cool spots along the coast, and yeah, just get out there and play as much as possible. I could see myself working with the Coast Guard. <laughs>